What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are once again starting a video off in front of the EG4 solar heat pump. If you're new around here, this is a solar powered heat pump sold by Signature Solar. Uh, it can run directly on DC solar panels. Uh, you can also run it on the grid. This is a one ton unit, meaning 12,000 BTUs. I made a number of videos on this, but uh, we are getting a lot of new viewers to the channel, so I just thought I would recap that. Um, yeah, these are the solar panels up here. I have six 225 watt solar panels in series. Uh, I do have one disconnected right now. It's connected to my in-house system, which I'll show you in a minute, but this is the unit. It's working great. The problem I'm having is I want to keep running this after the sun starts to go down and I had to add a bit of backup power. I can run it on the grid, but I have solar. I have these batteries. So in the last video, I ran it on a power queen battery. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what I've been working on inside. I've got a permanent setup uh, rather than my little portable power station. So the sun is just starting to go down. We are uh, transitioning from grid or sorry, from solar to grid at this moment. I'll show you the little screen recording. You can see it's almost 7 p.m. We're still doing about 240 watts from solar, but we are making up the other 240, 250 watts from AC input, which is now also solar. It is battery backup, uh, which is what I've been working on. I've added a battery backup in the house, so I'm going to uh, take you inside in a minute. I'll show you that. Um, I actually found a really good deal on an MPP Solar LV2424, so we're going to be actually switching the solar system over to that in the next video, but. I'll save that for next time so let's go inside i'll show you what i've got for now okay so this is my battery backup system you can see i've got the power queen down in there uh, tied up to another 100 amp hour battery i've got the thousand watt renergy inverter um, this is my mpp i just picked up got a really good deal on this i just couldn't pass it up it was not local i had to drive far to get it but it was worth it um, don't mind the wires it's not hooked up right now but uh, this is my little charge box I built. I've got the kind of Amazon shunt on here. You can see we've got 195 amp hours of battery left, 98%. This is actually a pretty nice little shunt for the money. These are like $30, $40. Um, this is the actual shunt side right here. This goes on your negative terminal. Um, but I've got the solar coming in, runs through a little breaker over to the Victron. I've got a couple uh, XT connectors just to make everything easy to disassemble, move around. Uh, it's just an old alarm system box I don't use anymore. That's the solar coming in and the liquid type. So pretty basic setup. It's been working good. It's getting me uh, extra power in the evenings when the sun goes down. It's all running through this fuse little disconnect box. This is for an air conditioner, but I had it left over and then it's tied into my household wiring. So I'm not an electrician. Don't do what I do. This is just what I've got going on for right now. So uh, I did receive a new package from Redodo. So I'm going to take you out in the garage. We'll do a little unboxing on it. Uh, show you what I'm going to be hooking up to the MPP, the big 2400 watt unit there. Um, so yeah, I'll take you outside and I'll show you what I got. So as you can see, we have not one, but two Redodo packages just came in today. Uh, these actually got here really quick. They reached out not even three days ago, asked if uh, I wanted to do a little a little video with two, two Redodo batteries, and I said absolutely. So they got here really quick. Um, they asked me to do an unboxing on these. I don't normally do unboxings, but they were kind enough to send two batteries. So I'll unbox them for you and show you what you get inside the package. Looks like you get your nice little information package here. This has got all the instructions, your charging voltage, stuff like that. Pretty straightforward. You see these in most batteries. Uh, we've got our bolts here. These are your terminal bolts. Uh, looks like we got some protective caps in there too. Maybe four bolts and two caps. Yeah, looks like four bolts and two caps. Pretty standard bolts. It is nice they give you two extra ones. Uh, you never know. If these are pretty small. You could lose them. Both come in handy. These are packaged pretty nice. They got a good amount of foam around them. So, you know, the UPS guy gets a little rough with them. They're not really at risk of being damaged. And here they are all unboxed. As you can see, they made the journey quite nicely. Uh, no damage, they look great. You got your protective thread covers here, a uh, little carry, carry strap. Pretty familiar casing. A lot of these 100 amp hour size batteries seem to use this same case. So um, 
I actually like this size. They do have the smaller version out, but I sort of prefer this kind of standard size. I don't know. I like them. Um, nice sturdy handle. I don't think that's ever going anywhere. These do have the 100 amp BMS, meaning you can discharge them at 100 amps uh, continuously without, you know, overheating them, risk of damage. Um, I think you can charge them at 100 amps too. Some people do it just as a torture test. The recommended charging rate is 20 amps. That's what I charge these at. That's all my Victron is really capable of. So um, check the voltage here. These usually ship around 50% charge. So uh, we'll see what these guys are sitting at. This one is sitting at 13.1 volts DC, so I think that's around 40-50% charge. We'll have to check the manual after this. And this one is sitting at 13.1 as well, so nice and consistent. All right, let's get that manual out, see kind of what's included, um, check the state of charge. They kind of estimate the state of charge based on the voltage. Obviously you need a shunt to really be accurate, but you can see you can do four in par uh, parallel, four in series. You've got a couple different configurations and recommendations here if you're not sure how to hook up batteries. Uh, there's the state of charge. So yeah, 13.1, they guess it's around 40%, 40 to 50%, but like I said, you need a shunt to really know where these are sitting. There's your charging info. I don't charge mine quite that high. I tend to shoot for around 14.2, um, sometimes 14 volts, just to not stress them out too much, make them last a little bit longer. I usually just hit the, uh, the lithium setting on the Victron and let it do its own thing. Got a couple more pamphlets here. And stickers. I've never seen stickers in one of these before. Oh, that's kind of cool. You stick them on your camper or something. I don't know if I'll use them, but that's kind of funny. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to do this unboxing for you and give you a little update on the battery system. Keep an eye out. I'm going to be hooking these guys up to the MPP in a video next week. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.